Hi everyone, my name is Anuj. I'm a student at GMC Nagpur. This is the video on books to read in second year MBBS. Now you will have three important subjects in second year which you always have to study. Pathology, Pharmacology, Microbiology and then apart from that two more additional subjects that can be added in your curriculum are Forensic Medicine as well as Preventive and Social Medicine. So five subjects I'm going to take you through all the different books that I have and that I recommend for you guys. So let us start off with subject number one Pathology. You have seen me read all of the different books in my study with me series if you haven't checked those out I highly suggest that you do. So starting with Pathology there are three types of books in Pathology itself. There is the gold standard book which is the book which has you know all the information all the things that is written in it and uh, you know it's the main book of pathology or in fact any other subject the gold standard books are the main one the next type of books that we have are basically student friendly books usually they are from the indian authors and they are kind of a downgrade from the gold standard books but they of course help you study uh, in a much more exam friendly way and the next we have the you know good cars or the very short books which are actually just extreme condensation from this uh, you know middle ground books so let's go, let's start with pathology. In patho, the gold standard book that you have over here is this. This is actually Robbins and Cotran and I've talked about this a lot and it is very heavy to lift. So this is the Robbins and in Robbins basically, uh, it's the gold standard book of patho as I mentioned. There are three types of Robbins. So you have uh, the big Robbins. So this is the big Robbins that I have or it's also called as the Papa Robbins or Father Robbins. Then you have the mother robins or the middle robins and that middle robin actually has two parts part one and part two so in that middle robins in part one the general patho is covered and in part two systemic patho is covered and finally uh, there is also a very small short book of patho robins that is called as the small robins depending upon your preference you can uh, read any one of the robins but i highly suggest that you definitely read robins because it's a book which contains a lot of information and once you are in final year and you are studying subjects like medicine and surgery uh, or in fact any other subject which has anything to do with pathology you will have to come back to this book itself so make sure that your pathology is very very nice and to do that just make sure you go and take yourself uh, to Robbins it will just make your pathology very very strong mind it this book is kind of difficult to read I'm gonna keep this this is very heavy this book is difficult to read for a student uh, but as you go through it as you do like three or four chapters it definitely gets easier because you get adjusted to the language always make sure that you take notes from Robbins because revising the same big textbook is you know impossible sometimes so take notes and Robbins is something that everybody should be reading it's your Bible that is what my seniors have told me that is what my teachers have told me so again that is what you should be following the next book I have for patho is this book this is called as Harsh Mohan. So you can see this is Harsh Mohan. It's a very old version because this book is actually was actually of my sister. You know her Urvashi Pachel. She is now an MD pathology resident. So Harsh Mohan is again uh, the medium ground books. Okay. So this is written by again an Indian author. I have read this book much more focused on actually uh, the diseases which are concentrated in our country. So. Uh, Things like tuberculosis, diabetes, other diseases like leprosy, HIV, all of these things are given in much more detail in Hirschmann itself than you will find it in Robbins because Robbins, again mind it, is from an international author's point of view. So then again Hirschmann becomes very very important once you are you know looking forward for examination purposes. Okay, so examination purpose uh, Hirschmann can be referred for you know point wise approach whereas in Robbins uh, the approach is much more paragraph wise. Apart from Hirschmann there is another middle ground book that I would like to tell you it's called as Ramdas Naik. Personally I haven't ever touched that book because I have never you know got the chance to use it because I already already had these two books so if you want to try that out I'm sure it's almost the same as Hirschman because most of the books that you're going to be seeing over here are going to be similar you know 1920 baat so these were the books for patho apart from that there's this book uh, so this is the review of pathology by Dr. Hussain Sattar sir uh, so if you don't know uh, there's this website called as pathoma.com and uh, basically the teacher over there is Hussain Sattar, MD, Pathology Sir. So what they do is that they teach you pathology in a very very fun way and the book that comes with it is this one but not exactly this one this is a Xerox copy of this one uh, when my senior had. Last, you know second last book I guess of pathology that we are going to be talking about. This is a review of pathology by Dr. Govind Rai Garg and Dr. Sparsh Gupta. 
you might have seen the videos floating around in youtube and uh, dear teachers if you are watching this please let me do down below in the comments i love your book it's the review book of patho so what basically review books do is that they have everything summarized from the gold standard books the medium ground books and the books and some other subject books as well so that what you're going to be seeing is a masterpiece uh, basically a masterpiece really so this book has all the information that you want from the gold standard books and it's apart from that there is another review book that i want to talk about it's by devesh mishra sir so devesh mishra sir has got his own review book of patho and i've heard that it has got more information than uh, govind garg sir's book but i can't really say for sure because i haven't read it but let's talk about hematology right so the book for hematology i've got over here it's in cover so this book is actually uh from a professor at gmc nagpur uh, our professor afthalkar sir he was a professor at gmc nagpur so this is the book of hematology which is referred by almost everyone that i know and it has got excellent the best book for hematology i can say like this is the one you should be reading uh, you've seen me read this in a lot of in a lot of different videos as well it's highly recommended for anybody who has to learn hematology it covers right from physiology to pathology then management also so again all right let's finally talk about the practical part of pathology so the practical pathology part is actually really great given in hirschman so if you want to you can refer hirschman for the same thing for practical pathology like fnac biopsies uh, microscopic urine routine etc all of these things are really great in hirschman and uh, just so you know that this video is not sponsored by any of the authors that i'm mentioning i would love if you uh, could get me to sponsor your books but yeah so far i'm just giving you out free information all right moving on to our second subject that we have got over here the second most essential subject is microbiology the gold standard book that i would say for microbiology you have used, you have seen me use it in a lot of videos is this book shastri so this is by apurva shastri and sandhya bhat the great authors you might have seen their videos on the internet as well so apurva shastri and sandhya bhat uh, excellent best book for i would say microbiology i really really like this book and almost all the micro that i've studied i've studied from this one it also has immunology integrated with it and i suppose the newest edition of these books will have the covid-19 integrated and the parasitology included another gold standard book of microbiology is anant narayan so anant narayan is another book that you should be looking forward if you want to you know by microbiology gold standard books i have that downstairs i did not bring it because I, in the complete year i haven't even opened anant narayan everything that i've studied from micro is from shastri and right and coming to it the last book for this entire uh, microbiology thing is practical microbiology all right so now in practical microbiology we have another book from the same author shastri and bhat they are great so this has got all the things that you need for your practical examinations you can actually find every single thing that is written in this book down in the main book for shastri so this is really an optional thing i want it in a quiz therefore i have it in fact i had an extra version of shastri i gave it away to a friend uh, all right coming to the third subject which can be the final subject for all of you guys is pharmacology so pharmacology again <laughs> there are a lot of books for pharmacology but the one the gold standard books that i'm going to be referring to you are first of all kd tripathi the book the awesome book kd tripathi which is given over here it's a big book it's not difficult to read is actually very very easy to read the language is very friendly because indian authors are great at making you understand things kind of like the uh, people on youtube who are making videos to make everything easier for you apart from that uh, the second book for pharmacology that i would suggest is something called as kadzang so kadzang you can see a pdf of it over here i don't know have the actual book it's a very big book but you can read kadzang for very specific topics it's also a gold standard book but it is much more difficult in language you will not find points over here but in kdt you will find a lot of points so if you want to go for a point wise approach kdt is the way to go it's again big book but never ever fear big books because they are they are great right apart from that let's come to the middle ground for pharmacology that is the middle middle standard books that we have so we have shanbag over here i don't have a shanbag textbook i have a small this pdf of the shanbag which my friend sent to me so this shanbag textbook is also very concise you can read many many chapters many many units if in just two or three hours if you really put your mind to it and um, yeah that's the way the shanbag is the middle ground over here there is also goodman and gilman again a gold standard book but you don't really re don't really need to you know go for that one kdt is the one which all of you should be reading right so that was the book the gold standard books for pharmacology apart from that we coming back to our review book series in micro i forgot to mention the review book you can see over here it's a random review book that i found out on the internet apart from that the review of um, uh, sandhya bhat and shastri is also again really really great so you can check that out uh, apart from that let's come back to the review of pharmacology this is the review of pharmacology 
and this is again by Govind Rai Garg and Sparsh Gupta. So I highly suggest that you read this review book along with KDT for pharmacology. I, I mean, you you should not buy all of these books. The cost is very very hefty. I won like half of these in quiz and half of them I got from my sister. So I did not have to purchase like any book uh, that you are seeing over here. I guess that is done for pharmacology. 22 minutes of recording <laughs> if you are still with me please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel anyways moving forward to additional subjects that you might face in your second year so uh, the forensic medicine subject has been uh, ruled out from second year as far as i'm, I'm uh, i know but in some colleges it may happen that they are not ruling it out it may happen i'm not saying that it is happening anyway so the, for forensic medicine i have a few books with me the book that you should be using for a better clear explanation is this one it is called as bardale this is again from a professor uh, at gmc nagpur dr rajesh bardale sir so he was also a teacher at our college and uh, he has made this excellent book with a, a lot of images a lot of images uh, the books by reddy sir so this is the essentials of forensic medicine and uh, this is a bigger book as you can see and the middle ground for forensic medicine is this one the synopsis again by reddy sir it is not much big as compared to the essentials one so you can see these are the two books of forensic medicine that we have got and toxicology of course toxicology is also covered over here but i would highly suggest you read toxicology from bardale sir's book because it is given in very beautiful manner all right so these are the books for forensic medicine it was a very difficult subject for me and i hopefully pass that subject once you are watching this video uh, if you are asking about what is the review book for forensic medicine it is arvind arora sir's book it has got anatomy and fmt integrated in one book itself so i guess i had this somewhere over here but i don't have it anymore so arvind arora sir's book is great that was all the books that you needed in second year but in additional it, it it happens that you get a subject called as preventive and social medicine for your second year itself and the book that you have to refer and you have to read is park <coughs> so this is the book k park very very famous book right for psm so this is the psm book park and you have to read it once you are in you know second year and if uh, you have a psm paper then this is the book which will have all the information with that almost all of your subjects are covered and this is a very long video uh, apart from that you will also face postings in your medical college what postings are is basically you have to go in your hospital and see the patients live so there are different departments in which you can be posted like ophthalmology ent surgery medicine etc what you need to know is that it does not really matter uh, which book is great which book is good what matters is that uh, the book which is best for you and how do you decide that if you read a book and you are able to remember what you just read and you are able to you know give out uh, the information that you just read so that book becomes the best book for you it's not like i am saying ki this book is best so this book is best as a kuch nahi hota with that being said this video is coming to an end my name is anush pashel i am a student at gmc nagpur and uh, Hopefully you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and share this video with your non medical friends your with your engineering friends and flex on them ki we have so many books to read in just second year and also share them the first year ones so that you can flex a lot when you meet them stay safe stay healthy and stay happy my dear friends until next time it's your boy anush pachel i will see you soon bye